Luke Cage. We like, finished. We finished the race. We still strong. We're still standing. Nah, just, that was too much. Strong. That was too much. Yeah. That's why I finished. Yeah, but nah. Um, this is an awesome woman of God, girlfriend Alicia. We're back. Uh, the last, final episode, episode thirteen, of season one for Luke Cage. His name is You Know My Steve. Is that it? Yes. Uh, you know my style, but she said I don't know. But all I can say, as far as the season finale, it wasn't a general cookie cutter season finale. It wasn't like this happy go lucky kind of tale where good triumphs over evil. There's still a lot of unresolving things that need to take place, mm -hmm. and it leaves a lot open for another season. season. Two? And the Defenders, which she doesn't know about, I'll talk to her about it a little bit later, but all I can say is it was really good. I mean, the fight with uh, Diamondback and Luke, that was actually a pretty dope fight. Like, they could have kind of like made it so corny, but they did a really good job as far as CG, as far as cinematography, as far as the actual utilization of all the different elements around them. I thought it was a really good fight, and I thought they did a good job with that. But more than anything, Mariah came out shining like i mean in the most terrible way but i never would have thought from the first episode to this episode she that mariah a criminal mastermind i mean she was worse than that like I, I don't even know like her and shades beyond a doubt like they're like this i mean you'll see towards the end what i mean by that but like the things that go down the people that get killed i mean the injustice of a lot of the things it kind of was like dang uh, what was your what was your thoughts on? So I'm not really a fight scene person, so the whole like first like fifteen minutes, so it's not really. I mean, I don't care to see two people fight. Um, something like I don't care about that part, but everything after that, great. Like I like how they kind of told you what everyone was going to be. Um, it's just crazy because it definitely is a lot open for for them to do a season two because it's like willis ain't dead mariah still mariah and shades done made it through mm -hmm. and it's like luke has to go back to seagate but what's the dude in the barbershop babe well, well that's a spoiler i don't want to say okay the guy well, in the barbershop everybody uh, kind of had like there's so many things to do yeah like there can definitely be a new a second season because all the, like, I mean, all the that, players are still on the table. Like, all the main players, with the exception of Cottonmouth, who died episodes back, mm -hmm. all the players are still very much alive. And things could be end up being worse, especially considering the Doctor who created Luke, considering Diamondback, considering Mariah, and, like, now she's got so much power and leverage. Mm -hmm. It's like... Before, when the, when the show started, it was like, you know what I'm saying, like, it's debatable whether or not Harlem needed Luke. It's evident that he has to come back. It's not even a question, you know. And like she said with, uh, I think it was Antoine Fisher. Or not Antoine Fisher, but Mr. Fisher. The, the, the guy that did the chessboard, he found something really interesting about Luke that might change the tides for his favor. But even Claire said that she's got a special lawyer there to help him out. And I'm pretty sure he's talking about Matt Murdock. Now, I, the only disappointment I had is I was looking for a little bit more kind of like, Maybe Jessica Jones, some other people kind of showing up. It didn't necessarily happen in the series, which was fine. Because Claire, in her stance with Luke, carried the weight of the emotional side that he Thank needed. You. Because Misty, Misty, she she wasn't that. That she wasn't was her cop. role. That's like she like her role was to be the cop who kind of did like was down with Luke for two point five seconds, but then didn't like him, and then trusted him at the end. Like she yeah. kind of went through the emotional roller coaster of not being sure about him. Yeah. I still don't like her. Yeah, like, I, I think that if she had never slept with Luke, I think her character would have had so much more weight for me. Um, but I still like the character. I still like the character. Because even at the end, she, she, I feel like her arrogance, or like her distrust and all that stuff plays out through the whole series. Like her distrust of Luke, her distrust of this person, her distrust of that person. Like mm -hmm. her inability to work well and play well with others. Yeah, you know, get people killed. Don't like it. I mean, yeah, no, I, I totally agree. Uh, but Misty dons a certain kind of costume. If any of y'all are Misty Night fans out there, y'all will geek out if y'all have not seen it already. And by far, like this was a really good season finale. When I think about like season finale of 
Daredevil Season 1, I think it ranks up with that one. Jessica Jones Season 1 was good, but I think this one might have been a little bit better because the way that they spin it, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, mm. it was not this, like, happy-go-lucky story, and it extends to something more. Like, I'm looking for more Luke Cage. We need more Luke Cage. As far as, so, hopefully y'all enjoyed this uh, review. Um, what would we give the final episode? I guess we we'll give it ten spirit fingers. <laughs> but no, thanks everybody for uh, checking this all out with us. I will probably do an overview of everything with season one. Uh, also, we'll be planning to do a uh, open discussion with um, three black geeks sometime next week. So stay tuned for that. I'll leave y'all in the link with that a little bit later on. But Spirit of Walking Dead by startup. But thanks everybody for watching. This has been an awesome time. And thank you for this amazing woman, guys. Who's always got my back. Hope y'all had this great time with us. Keep it locked. JBS being a stop. Peace.